to Mini Reads, a long time no see, I know. But today I wanted to bring this review of Miss Berggram's Home for Peculiar Children here for you because I finished it. You start our story with young Jacob. He's a 15 year old normal boy from America, Florida actually, and he has a very special relationship with his grandfather. Because when, ever since he can remember, Jacob's grandfather has told him these magnificent stories about his childhood and the amazing people he met. Eventually, Jacob kind of grows out of the stories because they seem so very fantastical. The grandfather tells him about girls that can fly and guys and boys that are invisible. So eventually, Jacob starts doubting him. It isn't until he's much older that his father tells him that what his grandfather was really talking about came from this he made up this world after he lost his family and was sent to an orphanage in wales because of world war ii now after this jacob simply accepts that his grandfather created all this as a measure to kind of forget the horrors that he lived one day while jacob is at work he gets this call that his grandfather now very elderly and starting to get kind of delusional is thrashing is trashing his house so he goes to check on him. Sadly, Jacob gets to witness his grandfather's death and his last words. But other than that, he also gets to witness a horrible thing. That horrific thing kind of looks like this. Yeah, I, I, if I saw that, I would probably go crazy too. And that's what happens to Jacob. He starts going crazy, nobody believes him, he starts going to the shrink. Eventually, he decides that he must go to Wales and this tiny little island who, whose name I cannot pronounce to find the home where his grandfather lived and figure out what the fuck is going on. And obviously, shit hits the fan. Jacob discovers that there is more to this world than we realize and he finds Miss Peregrine and he finds the children that had been lost, including Emma, who obviously becomes his love interest because that's just how YA fiction goes and there's always romance but in the defense of this book I must say the romance wasn't nearly as annoying as in other books and there was no love triangles so that is good as for the characters at first I was really annoyed with Emma because she seemed like such a stereotypical character like oh yes yeah, strong girl and I don't trust you so I will attempt to kill you and stuff like that and that really bugged me but that was only at the beginning then as we meet Emma more and more, you find out that I actually think that she was a very well portrayed character. She wasn't flat and she wasn't annoying as I first thought. Jacob is a really cool character. I really like them. I liked how he feels real. The other characters, I... Uh, they were okay. They, some of them were a bit stereotypical, like, you know, uh, character architects. Just because they're stereotypical does not make them good. I just don't feel like there was any standout characters. I, I actually felt bad because I wanted to know more about some characters that we didn't get to know more about. I'm not saying that the other characters were bad. I was just interested in some of the other ones. But overall, I really like the characters. And out of the supporting characters, I really like Bronwyn. I thought she was interesting. I don't know. I, I think that this story was a little... How do you say this? It was a little, like, overdone. Like, it was a little crazy. You know, to the point of, I, I felt like it, that, that was not, well, was that really necessary? You know, I just felt like it, some things were not really necessary for the story. And that, that they were overly thought. You know what, in Project Runway, they say, make a dress out of this, and they come out looking like cupcakes and party favors. I felt that was the thinking that Ramsay Riggs had for a lot of the book. It was just like, he could have made it simpler, but he decided to go the complicated route. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but that's what I felt. Regardless, I still really enjoyed the book. I actually, I don't know many of you know this, but before I started on any of this uh, YouTube business, I was actually a digital photographer and I, decided to take a picture of myself and I photoshopped the hell out of it until I made myself into Emma from uh, Miss Peregrine's Home for, for Peculiar Children. And if you're interested in seeing that, let me know. I might um, put it up in an upcoming video. I actually did a lot of um, transforming myself into fantastical characters. 
a while ago. So I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. Just let me know down in the comments or something. But yeah, overall, I really enjoyed the book. I read it um, not super fast, but it, it was a pretty decent read, and I really enjoyed it. And would I recommend Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children? I really would. I would recommend that you read it, especially if you're looking for a fast read, because the book is very, it's tiny compared to a lot of other YA books that I see are coming out. Uh, so overall, I will say I give Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children 3.5 out of 5 stars. And if you don't know what that means, I will link my rating system down below. The one thing I will say is, the book sets itself up to be a creepy novel. And this is not a creepy novel at all. There is nothing creepy about it except for maybe one scene in the book. I mean, it, it can get a little jumpy, like, oh my god, the bad guy's coming and he's gonna eat us. So there, I mean, there was some scary parts, but none of this book really felt creepy. I wasn't creeped out by it in any way. Unlike in The Monster well, well, I wasn't scared, I was creeped out. And, you know, I know that from the cover alone, the book sets itself up to be like this creepy novel. It really isn't. It's more like X-Men. It's basically X-Men. There's a lot of X-Men-like books out right now. And by a lot, I mean Miss Paragon's Home for the Peculiar Children and Alexander Bracken's um, The Darkest Minds, which is fucking amazing. I don't know if you guys know, but that book is fucking amazing. Definitely pick up Miss Paragon's Home for Peculiar Children. Um, I wouldn't say it's a Halloween read, but it's fun. It's different. Um, it's not going to make my top 10 list uh, to my top 10 books I read in 2013 list. Or it might. I don't know yet because it's not over, but... Um, it was a good book. I really enjoyed it, and I think you will enjoy it too. So if you've read this book, and if you enjoyed it, please let me know. And if you haven't, also let me know. Um, I know that Chapter Stacks actually didn't enjoy that much because I read her Goodreads review, or a snippet of it before, I don't know, I'm always scared that people are going to spoil it. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on this book, and I guess I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye, guys!